We have the Zerg up one game. We have the Protoss down game. Respective GG's given. Their GLHF is given. And we'll go ahead and introduce these players in the bottom left hand corner. The winner of the last match is up one due to the cheese and only needs one more game to win. It is from Rise Gaming. Give it up for Draven. And in the top right hand corner from Cosmic. Not sure if it's clan, gaming, what have you. But playing for Cosmic, it is the Red Protoss. It is Slayer. Cosmic Gaming. Oh, it says it right there. There you go. Cosmic Gaming. Oh, right. Let's see. There goes the little drone that wish he could. Um, I guess he's just going to go home. Not much to do. Oh, he's going back. Draven is really tricky with these, these little things here and there that he does. So he's going to go for a second base hit. Oh, he's going for the hatch. He's going for the hatch there. In the right place, though. It's going to be seen. Um, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let's run down over here. Can't be crazy. Draven's up one. Match. Is this match point for the night? Will Draven finally win? Tune in right now on Proxy Tempest. 170 something. 78, I believe. He's got his two drones. He's got his 500 minerals saved up. He's got his one base. Oh, he had the fake, fake base over here. That was a good one. He's sending the lings across. He's basically finished in about four. I was going to say four seconds. No, it's going to take a good ten more seconds to finish up. And when it does, oh, this is looking rough. Third base is going down. And it's done, and the spores are going down in the back. Normally, you put him up. Oh, no, yeah, that's a good spot to put him. But he sees a creep. He's in full panic mode. Put down a shield, start the stalker, get in the vision. Put down, leaves are coming in. A couple of units, a couple of steel batteries, not very much to hold this off. He did see it at the very last second. Another spine car going in. At least he got the stalker on the high ground. Stalker is going to be able to beat the damage without taking any over here. And he's putting down another pylon just to block this out. And one of these is going to go down if he doesn't do it back. He's also building a fourth spine crawler. Third spine crawler going He needs to move that overlord towards the high ground so his spine crawler can get to it. But I don't think he can be able to do it. Barely getting there. One spine crawler goes down. No more units left here besides the one. Oh, he does have the. He has the immortal and two of the stalkers coming out. And that would do a lot of damage. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. Good Raven. He might be going into that tasty match. However, he's also not too much of a stopper. Um, he does sneak in a little bit. He really runs me through there. Yeah, he should have ran into the there. But good hold so far by Slayer. Slayer somehow fell for the team. If he didn't take out at least a side of before, that should be a good pickoff. But I don't think he's going to Actually, it looks like he's pushing through this. All the shield batteries are, are no longer powered, but that is a. The, the Sim City that he built, the shield batteries, is not allowing. That's actually a nice concave. It's not allowing the link to get any surface area, but he will be able to move these up, creeps up. 
Queen's moving up. No more Queen's coming out. He does have enough money to get something up, but he doesn't know what. High ground vision. Oh, I think he's doing it. The high ground vision takes out the stalker. Shield batteries are now recharged, but they're only going to go down to reach uh, spine crawlers. More links coming out. And this is not going to be able to produce the unit in time. The Stargate, it will finish, but all you have to do is move up the ramp with unupgraded wings, and this might be how Draven takes the whole cake. Oh, all the pros are being pulled, so this will be held as far as these wings, but there will be some major losses going on, and the worker count is just dwindling. One, two, three, a lot of workers go down. Oh, that immortal goes down, gets picked off by the queen and some wings. That was a great pickoff, and there's nothing left to defend besides the probe. They will take out the queen, and one void ray will be able to come out. And once that void ray comes out, there's really no air defense. Uh, Draven needs to make a, a spore crawler or get some queens out ASAP. Or, oh man, destroying a lot of these drones is also very perfect. Oh man, he, yeah, he needs to get rid of that, but this is just about to pop, and right when it pops, it will be able to take out every Zergling. Might need to pull some drones as well. Yeah, if he, yeah, he would have pulled the drones against Davis, but that will go down, leaving him with nothing but one Void Ray, and that Void Ray just can't kill the Lings as fast as they can kill the drones, and, and they're a lot faster and more mobile, so he's just going to be running them around and taking out what he can, and I think Draven just went at two games in a row with the cheese as a Zerg taking the championship in the finals here of this and my very first proxy tempest as your official caster and streamer still with the help of Andy Man. I can't believe it's going down like this. GG well played hit player says and Raven takes the whole series. What a series, that is crazy.